We live in this motherfucker. We live. Hold on. Hey, we live in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Havoc status in the building, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Wait till some people tune in, man. Oh, look at you. Come on, don't worry about that shit. Yeah. Ghost is there too. He's hiding. He's hiding though. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. I just with love. There we go. Now we got some people up in here. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just finished up. Wake him up. Video shoot. Did I just announce that? My bad. <laughs> Yo, what up, Craig? What up, y'all? What up? What up? What up? What's up, Frederick? What's up, Craig? Frederick? My man Frederick in the building. All right, so we, we went live the other day and got some questions to answer. So I'm going to go through and ask individual members. First question. Where are you from? Where are you from, sir? Come apart, Maryland. TKPKMD all day. Yeah. Okay. From the Hall of Fame City, Ohio. Hall of Fame City, Ohio. Where exactly is that for the people that don't know? Canton, Ohio. Canton, Ohio. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Man, Towns. I'm from Sanford, Florida, man. Seminole, Criminal County. What's happening? You already know. 407 and the key. Holla. Yes, sir. What's up? Secrets. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Born in Cleveland, hey. repping DMV, man. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm from Toledo. You all know that. Toledo. What's up? Next question. What we got, LA? Ah. Did you guys grow up together? Did we grow up together? I mean, kind of. Technically. Yeah. Technically, basically. Literally, digitally, digitally. You want? <laughs> you want to explain that, secrets? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, we. I mean, I can't put a year on it. How long we known each other? But it's been a long time. So technically, we have grown up together. We've known each other probably since we was young bucks. Um, you know, but everything's been digital. Probably one of the first groups, if not the only group, to to really bang our albums the way we have digitally and from all different places. But that's also what makes our group unique because most groups are from the same location. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got Bone Thugs and Harmony, all from Cleveland. You got Outkast from Atlanta. You got Havoc. Nigga, we from everywhere. So <laughs> you know, that, that brings a style and vibe that you're not really getting from any other group. So I would say, yeah, yeah. we grew up together just in a different different kind of way. Excellent, excellent. Next question. What we got, L.A.? Uh, what inspired you mostly when it came to a musical career? All right, we're going to ask Ghost this question. Uh, what inspired you mostly when it came to a music career? Uh, I just been doing it for so motherfucking long. Like both motor brothers did music, and uh, so I, I've been doing it for as long as I can remember. Like I can't remember living without fucking with music. You know what I mean? Like some of my earliest memories is sitting in elementary school writing rhymes. You know what I mean? Hell yeah! So, Damn. It just kind of happened. So what about you, Lay? Um, I mean, so my I always start, I started writing. You know what I'm saying? I was doing stories. You know, that's just kind of where my imagination took me. And uh, my sister um, started talking to this dude named Warm, um, Warm Peace, and he did music. Um, and they were together for a really long time. You know, to the point where I called him my brother-in-law, and um, I just got to a point where he and his friends was. Um, at my sister's place recording, you know, he was making beats and stuff like that. And I took a CD of his beats home one night and I was like, fuck it, I write, I write stories, I can write a song, yeah. fuck it, you know what I mean? And, you know, if someone had told me that that would be like getting a tattoo, I might have, you know, you know, I might have, you know, better been able to brace for the adventure that this has been but i don't regret a day of it you know nice. what I'm and i see you got a dope ass shirt on right there what is this oh man you know it's like oh. havoc yeah. for infinity you know what i'm saying havoc for infinity where could i get that oh. shit oh that is on teespring you know what i mean uh havoc yes. music.com yes sir <laughs> <laughs> shout out to teespring though <laughs> towns man what inspired you to do music as a career? We and Jesus Christ. Oh, oh shit. Nah, nah, let me stop playing, man. Hey, uh, just uh, music, man. Music in general, man. My mama was a singer. You know, we we, we, we love our music down there, down south, man. You got Caribbean vibes in there. You got Haitian vibes in there. You got, you know, just the local scene in there, man. And, and it's all lovely, man, when everything come together and start blending, man. You got to keep that pen sharp. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Bye -bye. Yeah, what about you, Secrets? What was the question? What inspired you to do music as a career? As a career? Um, hey, Craig, thanks for tuning in, homie. Probably a lot of things, man. You know what I'm saying? But music is therapy. I think it is for all of us. So, you know, once you listen to it and, and, and it's hitting you like that, and you start trying your own talents at it and all that type of stuff, it just kind of hits the road from there. 
But um, yeah, man, I got a lot of inspirations. But the therapy behind music, that was probably the biggest thing. Yeah, fucking yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that. With the therapy behind the behind the music, and just the the overall potential when you put all the elements combined into the pot. I mean, there's a lot of marketable. What Secrets was touching on, there's a lot of marketable things uh, coming from different areas and such. So when you think about that, as career wise and business wise, we can really cater to anything and everything, and we're all diverse enough as artists to do so so that really motivated me to keep pushing us because i know what you know we could possibly be in the future what's the next question homie uh the the million dollar question uh many people many people say you sound like bone and you're not going to go anywhere so what will you say to these haters Fuck your mother. Fuck your mother. <laughs> fuck your pal. Fuck your family. Like, fuck all you. Nah, I mean, all I mean, look, all seriousness though, right? Like, everybody is inspired by somebody. And unlike, you know, a lot of artists that have come up, a lot of younger artists who have, I guess, newer generations of that flow, um, are very, very much, you know what I'm saying, using that. But we've always been honest. We met on Bone Thugs and Harmony Forum. Um, we've always shown love to Bone. And of course, you know, Lazy Bone signed us. So, um, we're not going anywhere, and you know we don't shy away from that. But that's not all we do. Let me speak to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Man. First of all, let me tell y'all something. Right? Over fifty percent of the industry sound like Bone. Uh, so that's that's number real. one. <laughs> like, none of them niggas is giving Bone any pre props, credit, nothing, no recognition. But Keep Havoc real. has been that since the jump. So Dang you know we're not out here stealing styles or anything like that. We sound like Havoc and Bone sound like Bone. We clearly got influenced by Bone Thugs and Harmony. We probably wouldn't be here or have met without Bone, but it is what it is. But we definitely sound like Havoc, um, and we've paid our dues and we pay homage to the legends. And it is what it is. We show love. So y'all can go hate on the mother groups that sound like Bone <laughs> that's claiming it. Like it's they shit and they originated that shit, but we know what's up, man. We are who we are, and bone. And that's hip hop, man. That's the that point, is. man. Taking to what someone does, you know, be influenced by somebody, putting your spin on it, growing the brand of hip hop. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's that's all the part of it. What we got, LA? LA, what's the next question, man? Oh, we got okay. Ghost with the questions. Uh, what do you see for the future of heavy? Ooh. I'm gonna ask you that, Ghost. Being new to the group, what do you see for the future of Havoc? I mean, I, I see endless possibilities. You know what I mean? Because there's so much potential just right here, just between us. Like, everybody brings something different to the table, and everybody has so much potential in what they bring to the table that we have the opportunity to expand in so many different fucking directions. You know what I mean? That what, what really could stop us? Yeah. You know what I mean? We put our minds to it. That's all we really need to do. Yeah, put our minds to it, buckle down, and fucking work towards it. And that's what the fuck it is. I know that's right, man. What you think, Towns? Man, uh, a lot of success, man. We can go we can go the podcast route. We can go to the soul route. We can go the rapping route. We can go to the singing route. We can go. We can do uh, so many things, man. This thing ain't just locked down to just a, 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 a super hip-hop box. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like we we versatile. We very versatile with our craft. So we can do all multiple genres in one, or we can just... You know, I, uh, success, a lot of success. That's, That's right. And $10 billion. $10 billion. Uh, $10 billion. <laughs> <laughs> like we harpo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next question? What we got? Uh, thoughts of the Havoc House. Thoughts of the Havoc House. Y'all even remember what that is? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Havoc. Oh, yeah, it's be all going on. But who knows about that? How is that a question? We did an interview with that. Oh, and really? So, yeah. I think it's dope. That's kind of I think it'd be cool. Thoughts of the Havoc House. For those who don't, don't know, the Havoc House is basically a way, since people always ask us, how are you guys going to do performances and such when you all live in different areas as far as right now? I mean, obviously we ain't billionaires up in here and can just get up and go. But we're thinking a Havoc House situation would be, let's say we pick a like rental vacation house in one area. We go there, we do songs and shit, bring all the families, hang out during the Havoc House times, and then we tour the entire area. And we pick a different spot every time so we can at least reach different areas and all of us can come in and just pitch in together and make it make sense. So thoughts of the Havoc House. This is my dream. This is me? Yeah, what'd you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm always looking at I think it's dope. Yeah. Um, first of all, that would be a lot of fun. Um, and second of all, it's just an efficient way for us to do what it is that we want to do um, and do it together. So uh, it sounds like a really dope solution to me uh, to get out there and try to tour and hit some places and do some fun things and have all of us be together and not even just have it, but like our families and everything like that. So it's a dope idea to me. Hell fucking it. What we got? What we got next? 
uh, <laughs> um, who would be the first to drop a diss if you were beefing internally? Me. So what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> who would be the first to oh, drop yeah. a diss if you were beefing internally? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me. I'd be smooth with it too. <laughs> you think so? I'd be totally smooth with it. I wouldn't drop a diss. I know that. <laughs> I know I that. Only, I, I, I would only anything. respond to a disc, but your disc would also have to be up to my standard. Otherwise, <laughs> you're not going to hear from me. You're not going to hear from me. He, so he would Nick Cannon you, okay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He wouldn't even respond. Tons, What's up, who would be the first to drop a disc if we was beefing internally? Shit, man. Shit, man. I don't even know. You? I mean, yeah, probably, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? saying Fuck your mother. Yeah. Fuck your mother. Fuck everybody. Nah, the real... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't really beef internally, man. Not yet, you know. Not so I can't say anything that we really have. You know, we family. This family right here. You just gonna put the camera on me, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the next question. Um, Subliminally. Uh, in y'all free time, what do you like to do? Um, I'll just go around. I uh, mean, I, I game. You know, I, I binge TV shows with the wife. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And. I just try to, you know, take some me time. I might write a little bit. Um, you know, just, just, I try to relax, you know. For sure, for sure. What about you, Ghost? I mean, I work for the most part. Uh, when I ain't working, I'm making music. Yeah? That's what it is for the most part. Yeah. Working in music? Okay. Man, I just chill, man. I mind my business. I work. I come home. I just chill. I go ahead and write. I start writing. I'm writing all the motherfucking time. And, uh, you know, just do do the adult thing, man. Clean and, you know, take care of business. Handle business, y'all. Yep. Right. Maintain. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, most of y'all know my passion already is outside of music, film, and editing and things like that. So with that comes writing and not just music, but, like, scripts and all that type of stuff. So I love doing that. And then when it ain't none of that, it's movies. Movies and TV shows all day. My wife will tell you we sit there and binge shit. Hours in a row, you know, that's our thing. So we love it, and that's kind of my, my getaway and my escape to stuff. So. Hell yeah. yeah. For me, it's basically the same thing, man. We binge watching shows, always finding a show. We get pissed, we find a show, and there's only one season. We got into it. Like, <laughs> fuck, you know, we can't, we can't invest it in and get all mad. But uh, I'd, I'd like to go bowling. I'm a bowler. Oh, yeah. I'm always bowling. I do that in my free time and some games and stuff, too. What we got What we got next? Uh... Will we get solos from each member plus another Havoc album in 2021? Oh, oh man, that's from a lot of questions. Member? No. No, I want to let Town speak on that real quick. I'm definitely dropping mine this year. That's for uh -oh. sure. That's for Ooh. sure. That's Ooh. Going down. That's going down. Yeah. 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 We are live. Whoa. Hell, yeah, we live. We didn't edit this shit, right? That's right. Man, that's cool. It's on the internet I'm, now, I'm, man. I'm this bitch, man. I got, I got some smooth old play shit, man. You know what I'm talking about? Smoothie than blood. Hell on. I, we got a lot of questions. I'm going to put you on blast. We got a lot of questions asking about your shit. And that's true, man. And, and you know what? I've been lying this whole time. Um, in 2021, I doubt you'll get a solo from me just because we have so much group stuff going on. We got a lot of plans with the videos. We got a lot of new material, possible multiple albums probably dropping this year from Havoc. So it's hard to fit in an entire solo in between all those kind of things. So you will get a solo from me. Trust me, I've been working on it. I actually got two new songs that I've recorded within the last couple of weeks um, that nobody's heard. So, and hopefully we'll get some videos to that stuff. So we're going to have to have you send me that shit. So you'll get some solo <laughs> songs and maybe music videos from me, but not an music album videos. this year. Yeah, music oh. videos as well. Are we, are we anticipating any kind of hypocrite video since it's Havoc related? Yes. You, that's not one of the two, but yeah, uh, hypocrite video as well. Sick. Yeah. Like, what you got going in the works? Uh, I mean, you know me, I'm a workhorse. You know, I always got some shit in the works. Um, 2021, um, I would like to get like a full length solo album, but um, the only one thing I can probably guarantee is y'all definitely probably going to get another uh, Destiny themed EP. Um, I've been toying with the idea of kind of branching off and doing shit with different games, but. Um, I've been, lately I've been working on um, solidifying um, my follow-up to Money Sets Music Live. So nice. um, I've got some really dope stuff. I just released my newest single, Horny on Main. Um, that's, so yeah, where can they find that? Where can they find uh, that? That joint is on iTunes, uh, Spotify, um, you know, all the digital retailers. And it's also at... It's I called Horny on Main? Yes, sir. All right. All right. You can look yes, that sir. up. 
What about you, Ghost? What you got? Anything for you in 2021? I mean, it's very possible. You know what I mean? You never know what the future may hold. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, anything group-related is my priority. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I got plenty of shit written. It all just comes down to uh, recording it, mixing it, and getting all, and getting everything right. Everything right. It's the a lot work yeah. uh, And I'm a perfectionist, too. You know what I mean? If my shit ain't... <laughs> The way that I want it, then that shit ain't, you ain't gonna hear it. <laughs> it's as simple as that, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, but as far as me, as far as me goes, I probably will be able to, to fit in that Raindrops project in 2021, probably fourth quarter. So that's really all I got planned solo for this year. All right, what we got next? Um, what does each member's pseudonym mean? All right. Um, what does each member's pseudonym or, uh, sta or stage name mean? Oh, okay, okay. Um, I mean, mine is just basically the, you know, it's basically just taking on uh, the, the first identity I ever wrote uh, of myself uh, in my stories. I felt like it was just appropriate to take on that mantle when I started doing music since I was going to be, um, you know, being portraying myself, obviously. So. All right. What's your suited to mean? I mean, ghosts. <laughs> What's the thing? I mean, ghost I mean ghost. <laughs> There's nothing specific, uniquely about that name. Nah, I mean, I, I mean, I fucking. I, this isn't an interrogation, quiet, homie. Like, <laughs> this isn't an interrogation. You can tell the truth, it, homie. The name was given to me, and it is what it is. All right, cool. Due, due to the song we got coming out, I'm gonna let the song explain it because I do explain it in that song. So I'm gonna let the song explain for sure, it. For sure, for sure, for sure. And uh, me, I mean, you know, just I, I'm the quiet guy. You know, it's been like that for, for years. People just call me secrets, and um, you know, it, it kind of stuck. People think I'm like mysterious, and you don't know what's going on with me, and I got secrets. I don't. But, uh, yeah, right. Know, that's just kind of where, where the name came from. But yeah. Nice. My name's always just been an acronym for uh, when I was younger. Rest and you'll never emerge. So, uh, that's where it stems from. All right, what we got next? Uh, what producer and or artist uh, that you haven't worked with would you love to work with? John Shore. <laughs> John Shore. Yeah. This cat right here. Yeah, that's definitely been one of mine. So since You want to introduce yourself to us real I'm quick? Chilling. This y'all day. I'm chilling. <laughs> no, but this is—it's an important question. The question is, who is an artist? Who is an artist that we we want to work with? One right there. Yeah. This guy right here. Sincere. So now it's out to the world. We gotta make it happen now. We got it now, though. It ain't even an if thing no more. How can we find you, man? Hey, you can uh, find me. So sincere, four one zero. Easy. So sincere with a Y though. So sincere, 410 with a Y. Thanks, wow. homie. Next question. Uh, next question. Um, what's y'all's favorite choice of kicks? Mm. Uh, I got to be honest. I don't really have a preference. You know, I just, I, I'll, if it looked good, I'm going to buy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What you about you? I mean, I've been more and more into creating my own shit. <laughs> you know, okay. I, I was, I was, uh. Kind of about brands, maybe once upon a time, but the more and more I find avenues to create my own stuff. Like right now, I'm rocking my own yeah, shit. Kicks, you know what I'm they saying? Oh, <laughs> Havoc status oh, on, the, on the kicks. That's how we rock. Yeah, Havoc so, on the kicks. You know, if I don't gotta rock nobody else's brand, I won't. So. Dang, Yo, that's what's up. Watch you, Tom. Work boots, man. And you know I like <laughs> bowls of cereal and shit because I'm a regular guy. I just, I just rap. I rap my ass off. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I just be rapping my ass off. That's it, dog. I just be chilling and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Wow. Okay. We, we just some normal dudes in this motherfucker. <laughs> What's the next question, man? Um, yeah, next question. Um, what is each member's favorite bone album? Oh, oh. oh. Favorite bone album? Secrets? Uh, definitely the Art of War, for me. Uh, mm. Um. Probably a toss up between Resurrection and uh, Thug World Order. I like Resurrection. All right. Uh, Thug Mentality in the 99. Oh, for sure, dang. For sure, absolutely. Mm, yeah, Art of War. Art of War. And mine is definitely Art of War. Yeah. By far. Um, Next question. Let's see. Uh, with everyone being in different places, how do we come together? BTNHWord.com. 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we kind of covered that one. We can, we can move on to the next one. Um, let's see. Who can eat the most fruit roll-ups in one minute? Dang. I, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I know you hit. <laughs> okay, I'm on staff. God damn, dog. I don't like fruit rollers like that. Nah, I don't really shit. like fruit rollers like that either, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm saying, is there money on it? Is there money on it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, I remember one time I was with uh, Trey and Robin and stuff like that. These niggas made like a, a blunt of like fruit roll ups and gushers. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was like they basically took gushers and put them lined them up in the fruit roll up and just rolled it up. Hey sometimes you got Hey. Oh man. I'm say I wanna say, say maybe secrets on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the next question? We got uh let's see. That's just about it. Uh, are there any plans for you guys to live in the same area for a long period of time? Oh. Uh it's a good question. I mean I, me personally, I think it would just kind of depend on everybody's situation, you know, if we were ever in a, in a place where we could do that. I think music would probably have to be our full-time jobs for that to mm -hmm. actually make logical sense um, for us to basically pick a place to move our families to. Right. Because um, right now, obviously, with, you know, real life, you know, with, you know, regular life shit, um, you know, we each, you know, work and stuff and um, we each have different responsibilities. So making that kind of life choice would definitely just have to make sense. Sure, sure. What do you think, man? What's the question? Uh, is there any plans for us to all live together in the same place? I hope time? so, man, because, man, that shit would be dope, man. Creating all together in, in person with each other instead of going through the internet, and, you know, because that comes with its own um, issues and shit. So, yeah, I think that shit would be dope. I hope there is some plans up now we're going to make it. For sure. I, I, I what do you think, man? I mean, I, it's like Lay said, fucking, it would have to make sense. It would have to be for a sure. full time job because. To just pick up and fucking completely change, like this shit ain't easy. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Know. Like you gotta fucking have a good yeah. reason. I mean, fuck, people romanticize the the starving artist shit, but like you know, it's it's not romantic. It's not cute. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cute. People have bills, kids, you know, just life stuff. And I think the havoc, how, the house of havoc, might even solve that too. You I know? think that solves it. You know, what you what I'm know saying? it's also like a little vacation type getaway. The style that we're doing, we have fun with it with the family. We get probably could choose new places, see new things. And then do a tour at the same time and make yeah. money, you know? Yeah. See, that, that, that would make sense. Yeah, that would be that something to make sense. And we could go back, you know, to our own personal lives. Uh, Towns up in the mountains and shit. Hey, you know, man. Look at some Sasquatch. That. That shit, man. You know. All of us aren't here for the what do y'all drink question. So we might have to save that for tomorrow. All right. Shit. Let's open it up for a minute and see if anybody in the chat has something they want to say yeah. or see ask. It. Where's Seek is at? I think, I think Seek he went, uh, he went with uh, Robin because Rob. Oh, he's coming back. Is he coming back? Was he coming back in right now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's open it up, man, in the chat and see if anybody has any questions for us. What's up, Paul? That's my dog. Yeah. yeah. Paul, what's Josh up, man? What's up, G? What's up, all my people? I Josh, yo, I love, Josh, okay. I love that Josh is catching this because oh, his time is on his Oh, yeah. Shout out to Josh Benny, man. <laughs> so we're just gonna open it up to whoever's watching right now. If you guys want to ask us something before we dip, we hungry. <laughs> uh, about to get some chicken wings. Some chicken wings. <laughs> Anybody want to talk about what we did today? First off, wake him up. Wake him. Wake him up. What's wake him up? Are you pointing at me? Again? Yeah, I am. Right. <laughs> uh, wake him up is uh, one of the songs that we have on the re-release of Infinity. Uh, so that's one of the new tracks that nobody's really heard yet, which we're all excited about. It's a little different, but it's still real havoc. Um, and today we got to shoot the video for that. Um, you know, it's been a good day for the most part. We had some hiccups and actually got shut down entirely and had to come up with a backup plan on the fly. Yeah, absolutely. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And we just finished and we're racked. Um, Any chance we can get you to spit your verse? Um, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we have a question. Where's Ness and why can't he come back? So here's my question. Why y'all keep asking about Ness? It's literally been over 10 years, uh, and you should probably go ask Ness these questions. Man, there you go. So stop asking us about there Ness. There you go. Okay? There you it's go. It's been a long time. He ain't been a part of the group since then. We got love for him. 
Facts, right? Yeah. Ain't no ain't no beef or nothing like that. But y'all niggas asked about Ness like he left the group yesterday. It's been a long time, man. It's time to get over that shit. We got a new five crew, and we killing shit as we are. So okay. I'm done with the Ness question. Amen to that. Somebody's asking, when's the video looking to release? Oh, that's a good question. Anybody? I can't answer that. Either. Open floor? Yeah, I mean, hopefully uh, within the next two weeks, but we'll see. Um, I think we'd like to do it around the same time, if not the same time, as the re-release uh, to Infinity. So if all falls into place as planned, then it might be a couple of weeks, which is pretty soon. Um, and if not, it'll just get pushed back for a little bit, but either way, it's coming soon. Okay. Another question: Will you ever make a Havoc documentary for any future projects? Oh, that would be incredible. We kind of already started. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure there's enough archival footage out there that has yeah. some sort of vicious behind the music. Hell yeah! Because yeah. <laughs> it's definitely been a journey, fellas. That's a dance. It's a whole movie. All right. See. Who was gang status back in the day? Oh shit! Uh, who was what? I refuse. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. We're gonna plead. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna plead the fifth on that. <laughs> yeah, we go. We all gonna plead the fifth on that. But hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in. We gotta go get something to eat, man. We've been working all day. So. Yeah, everything popped over. Wake him up, dawg. Wake him yeah, up, man. You know what I'm talking about? Wake him up. Wake him up. Hey, y'all better check out this video when it drops, man. Don't be on, on no lazy shit. We've been working hard for this one, man. You got to share this. Get in them comments, man. Show them love. Get on that Havoc Game video. Shout out to my dogs who shot this thing today. You already know, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Wake him up. New single coming out soon. You guys have a good night. Yo. 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 Yo.